Hi, these are Warriors of Gerang made by Bluebird Toys back in 1991. Now, my older brother gave them to me last year for my birthday because he knows how much I love lesser known action figures and monster toys. And here they are. Uh, Warriors of Kerang is a really obscure toy line. I mean that I've tried to look for them on the internet, uh, I was uh, looking for some more infos and pictures, and I found nothing at all. The only thing that I found is an entire group on Facebook of people who, like me, are trying to find out something about them. They are trying to track the history of this toy line. Well, Bluebird Toys was a British toy company uh, which is uh, best known for Mighty Max and Polly Pocket, since uh, they've made them before Mattel bought them all. All I know about uh, these toys is what I can read on their cards. And I've got Italian cards, since they were distributed here in Italy by Fassi, which was a company who also has distributed here several other toy lines from uh, Bluebird Toys, such as Manta Force and Gladiators. Now, I will show you one of their cards. It will be difficult since they are pretty big. Here's the card. Uh, I'm sorry for the shaky frame. Here's the card with uh, their logo, Warriors of Kerang. Here it says, the only ones with the power of limbs clonation. And here we have a nice art. This is uh, the reason for their name, and I will explain it uh, la uh, that later. Now, it's a big card, especially considering uh, given the small dimensions of these figures. And on the back of the card you had a lineup picture of all the figures in the line. Here they are, they've made six of them. And these two vehicles. Now, I know that at least uh, this black one here has been produced, even though here in Italy it's, uh, it had its name changed. So you can see here it was called Scorpiox, while its original name in England was Grip Slash. So I hope that at least uh, these main characters here had uh, their names uh, uh, maintained here in Italy. Here you have uh, the instructions to activate the gimmick, which I show you later. And here you have a short comic, which is in Italian, by the way. Hope you can read it, if you can read Italian. And up here we have a, a small synopsis for their history, an introduction to their characters. I will try to translate that for you. It says, Hexen, governor of the earth, with his uh, three uh, warrior sons, is busy in a battle against the evil Brox. In fact, Brox, with his uh, three evil sons, has put mines inside the core of the earth to make it blow up. Now they all are uh, ready to fight and are strong, and they will never surrender. But they don't have much time left. At the shout of Kerang, they will push their battle buttons and they will transform themselves into war machines. And here you had a short description of your character. In this case, he is a reptile, uh, the youngest of the three evil brothers. And now let's take a closer look at Freeman, who is uh, the oldest of the three good guys, and uh, Reptile, who is the youngest of the three bad guys. Now, they are small action figures, standing right above three inches tall, which means 8 centimeters, as you can see. And here is how they look next to an old G.I. Joe action figure, or next to good old Lion-O, who is towering above them all. Speaking of articulations, they all have the same. Uh, also because uh, uh, the three good guys share the most of their bodies and the three bad guys share the most uh, of their bodies. Uh, they all differ for uh, their colorations uh, and for their heads, of course, for their accessories and for their arms. So, I will try this sheet of paper to try to focus. Well, here he is. He is a Freeman, 
and he can rotate his head this way. Arms can move up and down. He can rotate at the waist. His legs can move forward and backward. And he can bend at the knees and bend at the ankles. And this reminds me a lot of the old Power Lords figures. And here is a closer look at Reptil, who's a bad guy, of course, he's got a, a, an ugly face, looks like an alien or a, a robot, and he's got a skull on his chest. Some more details going on, spikes on his wrists, he's an evil guy, all of them had uh, screws on their backs, like G.I. Joe's. Now, they all came with many accessories. Speaking of which, uh, we have a shield. Each one of them had a different shield, like this. And their shields had their initials on like these ones here. Okay, hope it's in focus. As you can see, F for Freeman and R for Reptile. And on the back of their shields you had these small holes. So you could peg the shields on the figure's arms in this way and in this way. And they look nice. Then each figure came with a small mini vehicle, like this one, or like this one here. And here is where Bluebird Toys went stingy. So these are uh, empty pieces of plastic. They don't even have uh, uh, rolling wheels and uh, all of them had these legs sculpted on. They are molded in plastic and sculpted in a sitting position as you can see. Which is weird since uh, these toys uh, have uh, a good amount of articulation and they could sit pretty well. Now let's take a closer look at these uh, vehicles. Here's a, a rocket sled and uh, this one here. Well, all of them also had uh, spring-loaded weapons. This one and uh, this one. Now, their gimmick was that um, you can transform these uh, unarmed bodies into armed ones by pushing their battle buttons. And this is why they call themselves Warriors of Kerang. Because when you push their buttons, look at it, because it's silly. Come on, focus please. Okay. I push the button <laughs> and it fires his head. So, Kerang is the sound that uh, their springs make when uh, you push these buttons. Now, let's transform all the body. This is silly and we got to transform even Reptile because he needs to fight. These springs are really strong. Now I've got limbs all over my place. And we can take this torso and put uh, the armed limbs on. So we have got a head with a helmet on. This arm holding a sword. Then uh, these legs with the rocket sled. And uh, at last, uh, this arm holding 
a spring loaded weapon. So now pushing this button he can slice enemies. And now he's ready to fight. We've got to put arms and limbs also on reptiles so we can take his legs on the rocket sled this way, put his head on like so, this arm with a sword and this arm holding uh, a spring loaded weapon also. So as you can see I push this button here and it will come on please. It will slice enemies. Let's take a closer look. Here they are. Some details going on, even uh, on the weapon. Cubes and spikes and claws. And here's the good guy. That's his word and his ugly helmet. Now, um, they are funny action figures, they are colorful and I like them very much, really. If you know something more about them, something that I didn't say, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, well, what can I say, they are nice and uh, it doesn't matter whether you touch them, they will fire something. So <laughs> that's funny. And if you'd like to see other obscure toy lines, please subscribe because I've got many, many more. Ciao!